How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel Take and Make. I'm glad you're here. In this episode I'm going to be making a kydex sheath for this knife I built in my previous video. If you guys didn't see that video, you know where to look for link. As well as this card gonna pop up on the screen somewhere around here. So go ahead and check it out. This, this was actually a collaboration video between me and Aaron from Ellie Knives. So make sure you watch two parts of that. Okay, let's get started. Kydex became very popular material for the sheets and cases of all sorts and the variety of uh, colors and textures are pretty much limitless. You can buy anything you like. But I decided to start it with something plain and simple because it was the cheapest one. Since I've never done a sheath from the Kydex, I don't want to screw up something expensive. So that's a good start in my opinion. I'm gonna need a Kydex press. It's fairly easy to do it yourself. I'm just gonna have to cut two pieces of board, glue some insulation on it, put a hinge and we're pretty much ready to go. So let's go ahead and do that. Everything pretty much ready, but Houston, we got a problem. I never measured, of course, when I went to hardware store to buy this hinge, and that's a little too short. So what can I do? I don't want to go anywhere. I have another solution in mind. I'm gonna cut this foam a little bit and put another piece of plywood in here and same on the other side and then I will have enough to install it. Already, our Kite Express is done. Now we're gonna put it to test. So the next step, we're gonna protect the knife from scratches and stuff using a couple of layers of painter's tape. All right, so we're done with that step. Another thing I saw on the internet, some guys they put drain hole in their sheath. So you just cut a piece of bamboo skewer like this and then you want to split it with your knife just like that and put it on tip of your knife like so and that's gonna create the drain hole in the sheath, especially for the knives which gonna be mostly using outdoors it's a great option so all the moist and all the water remaining on the knife will go out so I think it's pretty neat idea okay we're done with our knife let's cut a piece of kydex out so there's two types of sheets you can go one is called taco style it's when you cut one piece of kydex and kind of wrap around your knife on both sides and another one pancake when you cut two pieces of kydex place one on the bottom and cover with the other one I'm debating which one to use I think using two pieces is a little bit easier so I'm gonna try to do my first sheet pancake style Okay, we're ready for oven. Wow. 
Okay, so we're gonna set it for 400 Fahrenheit and bake our Kydex pizza. Okay, let's check it out. Well, uh, I don't know. It is flexible. I think that's a go time. Okay, first this one. Then we put our knife. Take another one. Put it on top. And close the lid. Now we wait, 15 minutes. I think it worked, guys. Put a rivet here, 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 there, there, there. Three here, four here. Space them out nicely. First two we're gonna drill here and install those rivets so we can open it. Alright, we got it. Starting to look like a sheath, eh? Okay, so now we can cut the excess on a bandsaw. moment of truth. Let's see how good it fits. We got another problem. This round opening here isn't wide enough and the knife doesn't want to go in there. I mean it kind of does if you push but it barely come off. I think I'm gonna try to go like so Okay, back to the band saw. So. Oh man, I broke the band saw blade. No, I didn't. It just came off the wheel. Well, that's a bonus. Crap. So without full understanding what I'm doing, I screw it guys. It doesn't hold knife. I should have left more material around this part of the knife. Because that's what actually makes that clipping sound I guess. And holds the knife in. Fail! Nothing I can do. We're gonna make another one. Let's try taco style now. No, this is can't be real. Oh my god, I screwed this up again. I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, I got it overheated badly. This material is very sensitive. It was kind of good and I thought I could wait a little more. 30 seconds, 40 seconds, just ruined it. I was hoping those lines gonna be straightened in the press, but they didn't. Man, that's a little bit frustrating. I wasted whole shit of Kydex. I think this design though suits this knife better. So, third one, hopefully successful shit, we're gonna do pancake style again. Oh, 
it guys, I think I finally got success. Yeah, it's in there. Nice. Okay, let's do some finished sanding and we're done. All right, guys, here are all of our attempts. First one went kind of all right. I really like the shape of it, but knife is falling out from it. Second one was an attempt to do taco style sheath. And last but not least, our final product. Third time is a charm. I can't call it perfect, but it's functional. So whenever things don't work for you, don't be upset. Give it a break, come back the next day and try again. Never give up, guys. That's the whole moral of the story. Believe and you'll succeed. All right, guys, this is gonna wrap this video up. Thank you very much for staying with me to the end of this video. It wasn't an easy project, but very educative. I hope you learned some too. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and also consider subscription to my channel. That's it for this one and I will see you in next one. Bye now!